Well, we all say it, that we are going to save, we're going to start a budget going into the new year, but do you know how to at the right time? And right now, we have with us Lisa with Desert Financial Credit Union, helping us pretty much be financial smart. Can I say that? Yes, you can. <laughs> and, yes, you can. And so let's talk about the program you do have at Desert Financial Credit Union to help people be on a, a good budget and have a good start to financial freedom, as we can say. Thank you. We offer monthly webinars, uh, and the topics include budgeting, include savings, and so webinar lasts about 35 minutes, and we cover all of the budgeting topics. I like that. Okay, I do have some questions here that will help us as we want to go over, um, of course, with the holiday season on making sure that we don't go over budget. So one is set a budget. What, what, what do you mean by setting a budget? Setting a budget. Figuring out exactly how much you want to spend during the holiday and then sticking to that. A good rule of thumb is write it down. If you write it down, you can't forget it. It's there, you can reference it, and it just helps you stay on track. So I like that. Okay, one thing that a lot of people, I think, try to do, but they need to do more of, and that is do their research and price comparison, right? Price comparison is key, especially around the holidays. You find that a lot of stores will offer uh, discounts on certain things, and so you want to make sure that you know exactly, again, what you're going to be spending, and if you price compare, it just ensures that you're getting your item for the lowest price. Yeah. Well, we talk about shopping online. That is one thing that's very important, too, than being in a store, because I guess in a store, it brings on temptation and impulse buying, but online... You're saving money too, right? You're saving money, you're not distracted. You know, you go into the store, you see all the bells, all the whistles online. You're normally dedicated to looking for that one item and then you're you're done. Yeah, all right, this is a, a word that a lot of people are like, I think forgetting, and that is cash. <laughs> we have so many apps, yes. we have credit cards and stuff, but. Pay with cash is a way to actually save money, huh? Yes, it is. It makes it easy because uh, once there's no more cash, right, there's no more spending. And so it just helps you to be aware of how much you have on hand and spend accordingly. So I like that. All right, this is the one that uh, it, it bothered me a little bit. <sighs> I got to take a deep breath, Lisa. Avoid self of course, you know, gifting. <laughs> Self-gifting. You know, you want to treat yourself. Everybody wants to treat themselves. Um, but, you know, around the holidays, you really should be focused on your loved ones. And so if you do have to self-gift, uh, put a limit. Put a spending limit on it. Yeah. All right. Um, this is one that everyone hates that I do around the house, and that is I keep receipts. And I think that's kind of smart to do because I'm kind of like watching what's going out the door much closer, right? Absolutely. You're staying, it comes back to that budget again, right? You're staying on key and receipts help you do that. Uh, and they help you to be able to see how much you're really spending. Yeah, because I know a lot of people, they just do the credit card and then they wait for the credit card bill to come and then they're like, oh my goodness, but keeping that list is so important there. And so, um, and that's the other thing too. Uh, avoid the uh, using the credit unless it's for emergencies, right? Absolutely. You, Avoid using credit because, again, it's so easy to overspend with credit versus if you have that cash, right, you're spending what you have available on hand unless you're using credit for points value. But then, again, you want to make sure that you pay that credit card off uh, at the end of the month. Okay. Last question, and that is what are some things we need to really look for in hidden expenses? Hidden expenses, wrapping paper. You know, people forget about wrapping paper, forget about travel expenses. Uh, sometimes those work holiday parties will sneak up on you. So uh, if you're writing out cards, I still send cards through the mail, you want to make sure that you don't forget about stamps, those little hidden expenses. Right there. Yeah. I like that. Well, I appreciate you coming and helping us Thank with you. the budget for the holidays. Very important. If you want to find out more information about Desert Financial Credit Unions, of course, the well, the webinars, financial webinars. wellness webinars. Yep. There you go. You can go to their website, and it's right there on aztv.com.